One of the first settings that you must change after getting your Mi Band 7 is turning on the Smart Do Not Disturb. The Xiaomi Mi Band 7 gives you notification for your messages and all the other applications that you select from your Mi Fitness application, but you wouldn't really like to be shaken at night just because somebody liked your Facebook post or something as less important as that. For that, you will have to go to Settings in your Mi Band 7 and then select the option Do Not Disturb. Then turn on Smart DND so that if your band detects if you're sleeping or not using it, it will not notify you of anything in your sleeping period. Not only you'll be able to sleep more peacefully, but also it would be saving you some extra battery when you would not be using the Mi Band 7. After the latest update, your Mi Band 7 now supports quick replies for the messages you receive as notifications. You can reply with the pre-selected messages or you can select emojis as well. To enable that, open your Zep Live application, go to Notification and Reminders, then select App Alerts. Turn on App Alerts and then go to Fast Reply Management. Here you can add the custom messages you want to add, also you can edit them as well. Also in the Manage Apps option, you can add your favorite messengers such as WhatsApp, Messenger, Telegram and much more. So far I have tested that Messenger is not supporting quick replies, but in WhatsApp or Telegram you can send them with ease. By default, you cannot show the Google Calendar events of your smartphone in your Mi Band 7, but you can actually do that with the help of an application called Zeply. Once connected, select Mi Band 7 and then under App Settings tap on Schedule. Then enable the Phone Events Sync option and that's it. Now you can go to events in your Mi Band 7 to check all the upcoming events up to next 30 days. Also, the band will notify you about the next event in time as well. And if you do not see the calendar events in your Mi Band 7 even after turning this on, you may have to just restart it. You will find the restart option under the settings and then system option. Side note guys, this Mi Band 7 and two other smart wearables will be up for a giveaway in September. So if you want to enter the giveaway, subscribe to Tech Guide and the other rules of the giveaway are written in the description. One of the highest hyped features of Mi Band 7 is always on display. To turn it on, you would have to go to settings and then display brightness and then always on. And whatever option you choose, it would give you a fair warning that the battery life of your Mi Band 7 would be reduced significantly. Which is true because you'd be losing over 30% a day if you turn on all its on display in your Mi Band 7. Which makes the battery backup come down to only 3 days instead of 14 which you could get in normal settings. So I don't recommend you to turn it on but the good news is that you can customize all its on display with themes. Here are a few samples. And talking about battery life, if you really want to stretch it, Xiaomi has given you an option for that as well. Go to settings. In your Mi Band 7 and then select battery saver. If you turn it on, the Mi Band 7 will only record steps and basic informations and won't let you see anything except time and steps count. This would significantly boost your battery life but at what cost? So to exit the battery saving mode, just hold on to your home screen and enjoy the madness of 240 plus features. Link is in the description. There are two types of lock screen in your Mi Band 7. The first one once enabled, you would have to swipe up to unlock your Mi Band 7. But if you want to level up the security, you can set a 6 digit pin in the second option as well. The best thing is the band will lock itself once it detects that you have detached it from your wrist. Can be very useful if you read a lot of OTP from your Mi Band 7. You will find the lock screen setting under the settings option in your Mi Band and you can enable either one of them or both of them together. Next up, we have workout detection. To be honest, this was a feature I was really the most excited about at the launch event. And the idea is in the workout detection setting, you can choose to auto detect four types of workout. Sounded like a futuristic game changing idea to me. But in real life scenario, I found it very hard to use it myself. I have talked about it in details in my Mi Band 7 long term video. You may check it out after this video. But long story short, this feature to me is an epic gimmick. It it didn't help me in my workout at all, but definitely blessed me with a lot of anxiety. I'm not currently using this feature, but if Xiaomi improves the detection algorithm in a later update, I think this feature is a life hack that anyone would love to try at gym. The 1.62 inch AMOLED display on the Mi Band 7 gets up to 500 nits bright and the new flashlight can speak for itself. You can find the flashlight under the more option of your Mi Band 7. Have you ever been in a situation where you would have to silent your phone but you can't really use it? If you have a Mi Band, don't you worry. Go to more option in your Mi Band and then select silent option where you can put your phone to silent or ringer mode. Sad part is you cannot trigger do not disturb or vibration mode of your phone from here. But in case you lose your phone and it's in range, Tap on find phone and it will ring your phone even if it's in on silent mode. One life saving feature for people like me who always forgets their stuff. One of my most favorite features of Mi Band 7 is Promoduro Timer. You can simply call it a focus timer where you can set a time limit and possibly try to study or do something productive in that period. And the band will tell you about your cumulative concentration level and cumulative rest status. I think this is a fantastic way to test how much time we can concentrate at a stress and possibly improve that as well. With the new 
Mifid 7, you can now reject a call with replies. You can set up custom text message from the Mifid application. And while you reject a call, you can send a message directly from your Mifid 7. We all love watch pages. And the quickest way to change it is just to hold on to the home screen of your Mifid 7 and you can scroll through the installed watch faces you save. Choose your favorite one and hold to confirm it. But wait, your watch face may have themes. You can simply tap and change the theme of your installed watch face. Cool, isn't it? And to set your favorite image as your watch face, just go to store option in your Mi Fitness or Zep Life application, select the style you like in the photo watch face option, tap on the customized background option, select your favorite photo from the gallery, crop it according to your preference, and finally tap on sync watch face. Done! The Mi Fitness 7 lets you read the full notification which is definitely a nice touch. But the problem is that you you cannot just swipe right to clear a notification like you do on your smartphone. And once all the notifications pile up, you may find it difficult to clear them all. But all you have to do is actually scroll all the way up and you will see a clear button. Tap on it and all the notifications will disappear. Well, the Mi Band 7 by default comes with Alipay and Widget Pay as the widget. And if you're not a Chinese user, you will probably never use it. So to remove it, simply go to shortcut settings in your Zip Life application or widget settings in your Mi Fitness app. Here you can remove all the unnecessary options and add the ones you need the most. Did you know that you can unlock your smartphone with the Mi Smart Band 7? For that, you would have to go to your phone settings, then search for Smart Lock and tap on Trusted Devices. Then add the Mi Band 7 as your trusted device. Now, if you have your Mi Band connected to your smartphone, you will not have to put a PIN or password to unlock your smartphone. As of now, you cannot use your Mi Band 7 as a camera shutter, not even through any third-party applications. But sooner or later, you will be able to enable it under the lab option in your Mi Fitness application. There's an option in your Mi Band 7 where you can keep the display of your Mi Band 7 on up to 20 minutes. For this, go to settings in your Mi Band 7 and then display and brightness option. And then tap on screen always lit option and here you can set the Mi Band 7 to light up continuously for 20 minutes. I have no idea in which situation you may need it, but I thought I should just let you know. You can set a night mode for your Mi Band 7 which will automatically dim the brightness of your Mi Band 7 at night. You can schedule it as well. So guys, you might have noticed that I did not cover any third party applications in this video, with which you will probably be able to play games on your Mi Band 7 mirror your phone screen, use your phone as a camera shutter, and much more. Well, that's because the applications aren't supporting the Mi Band 7 yet. Once they start supporting the Mi Band 7, I will be the first one to let you know. So if you don't want to miss out on that, please subscribe to my channel down below. And the giveaway is ending in September. If you want to enter that, all you have to do is subscribe to Tech Guide, like this video, and leave a comment where you want to win. And as always, thanks a lot for watching. Asha Kori, Abro Dekha Habe.